Hi everyone! Today we are going to be doing some painting. Now in today's lesson, you learned that God is the vine and we are the branches. God provides for us and loves us and we should show our love in return. So today we're going to be painting a tree with all kinds of hearts all over it. And inside each heart, we can write things that we love and reasons why we love God. So today you're going to need several materials from your box. You'll need a piece of aluminum foil, a cup with water, two paint brushes, a larger one and a smaller one, a piece of paper towel, and some of your paints. You'll need crimson, orange, medium yellow, light green, blue lake, follow blue, Violet, Burnt Umber, Payne's Gray, and Titanium White. Okay, so we're going to start by mixing a blue color. We're going to take Blue Lake and squeeze some on our aluminum foil. You don't have to squeeze the whole thing, just a little. I'm gonna squeeze some white onto my aluminum foil. Again, not a lot, just a bit to start. Then I'm going to take my white, a big scoop of the white, and a little bit of blue, and begin to mix them together. We're gonna be making a light blue. Take a little more blue. Until I get the color I want. This is going to be for the sky. So you can make it how dark or how light you want it to be. I'm going to go a little lighter because I think the shapes at the front will pop a little bit better if I make my background a little bit lighter. So now I'm going to take that color and starting about a quarter of the way up my page, I'm going to draw a line across and then I'm going to paint the whole top part of my canvas with my blue paint.
the color by squeezing out a little bit more from the tube. That's fine. so that when you hang it on the wall, you can see the blue on the, on the top and the sides too. Now, we're going to wash off our paintbrush in our cup. And wipe it on the paper towel to really get all the paint off. Now we're going to mix a new color. We're gonna use the light green some on my aluminum foil and I'm going to use the medium yellow and put it on my aluminum foil and I'm going to take my big brush and I'm going to start with just the green and I'm going to start filling in the bottom part of my canvas. Once I put a little bit of green down I'm gonna dip my brush in the yellow without washing it and put some yellow across the same area to make it a little bit lighter. Then I'm gonna take some more green and fill in some more. Take some more green and fill in the rest. 
rest with the three. And again, I'm gonna take some yellow and cover the area with a little bit of yellow. Now it's okay if it looks a little streaky because grass isn't always the same color. So it's okay if we have some lighter areas of yellow and some darker areas of green. Once you're happy with it, you can again do the sides of your canvas and even the bottom of your canvas before moving on to the next step. When you're ready to move on to the next step, I would wait for about 15 or 20 minutes to let this part dry before we move on to the next step of our painting. Now, once you've let your canvas dry for a bit, take your paintbrush and make sure you wash it off carefully in your cup and blot it dry on the paper towel. Now we're going to take our brown, our burnt umber, and put some of that on the aluminum foil. And we're going to work on our tree. So I'm gonna take my big brush, and at the top of my grass, I'm gonna start making my tree. Now, a tip for making a tree is when you're at the bottom, curve the roots out, come into the middle, and then curve out again towards the top. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And we're gonna fill all of that in with brown. bottom it doesn't need to have a straight line because trees aren't always straight when they're close to the ground. Keep filling in my trunk and now at the top of the tree I'm going to make some branches. I'm going to be taking my curved line out and down and back up and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. paper towel and I'm going to start by making pink. So I'm going to take crimson and only a little bit to need it on my oil and then again I'm going to take the white and put a little bit more on my oil, about that much and I'm going to take a little bit of the red and mix it with the white. You only need a little bit of the red to make pink because it's a much darker color than the white. Now when you're happy with your pink, you're ready to make your hearts. So I would suggest you use your small brush for the hearts my pink color and I'm going to make some parts close to the branches and fill them in with the pink color. Make a 
heart there. off my little brush in my cup. Now if your water is looking a little bit murky, you might want to dump out your cup and then put some more water back in. But mine is okay for now. I'm gonna again blot my brush on the paper towel. And now I'm gonna work on orange hearts. So I'm gonna put some orange on my aluminum foil. And again, I'm going to take my little brush and make some orange hearts here and there around the branches of my tree. Here.
move on to yellow. Again, I'm gonna wash off my brush and dab it on the paper towel to get all of the paint off. And we're gonna use medium yellow. I'm gonna put that on my aluminum foil. And now again, I'm gonna start making some hearts. Make sure that the yellow doesn't look green. You wanna really make sure that your background is dry. And after you do one coat, you might wanna go over it again with a second coat so that your yellow doesn't look green against the blue. dries for a bit, I might decide to go back and put a little bit more yellow on top if it looks like a little green to me, but that's up to you. Now I'm going to wash off my brush again. And I'm going to work on the blue. So I'm going to take my follow blue and put some on the aluminum foil a little bit more of my white. And I'm going to mix a little bit of blue with the white. To make a light blue. Some 
bigger hearts and some bigger hearts. dark follow blue and I'm going to use that to outline my blue hearts. And you can outline your hearts if you want to, but you don't have to. You can outline some colors and not other colors. It's completely up to you because this is your painting. off my brush again. And I'm going to work with that same follow blue. There's a little bit more left on my aluminum foil, so I'm gonna keep that there. I'm gonna take the green, the light green again. And I'm gonna mix those two together together with the white that was already on my aluminum foil. Now if you need more white, you can always add more white to your color. I want to make a teal color, like a bluish green. I'm going to wash off my brush again and dab it on the paper towel and I'm going to take my purple violet and put it on the aluminum foil and I think I'm going to lighten it just a little bit with a little bit of white because the purple is pretty dark. So again, I'm going to take a little bit of the purple and mix it into the white to get a color that I like. That looks nice. Now I'm going to make some more hearts.
the last step, after I wash off my brush, is to put a little bit of black on my aluminum foil. And using the black and my small paintbrush, I'm going to write the names of some things that I love and some things that remind me of God and my family to remind myself of what to be thankful for. So I'm going to write God on one of my cards. you want to your hearts. You can add things that you're thankful for and things that remind you of God and to remember to always thank God for what we have. Bye guys!